In this video, we'll be looking at creating a Google account on the Windows 10 computer. So if you've got the Chrome, Google Chrome browser, if you just open that up, it's the red, green, and yellow with a blue dot circle, that's the icon. And once you're in, if you've not got an account, you've got the option on the top right corner to sign in. So you left click on there. Then we come to the sign in screen. Obviously, you've got a Google account, you could sign in there, and then you'd you'd access your Google account. If you don't have one, like we're looking at this video, we left click on create account for myself. And this is where you put your first name and surname in. So you just enter those. And usually then it will create a username for you um, which you can choose to, to use and um, my experience with Google lots of people have Gmail accounts and um, so trying to get the username that you want is um, is a long task you usually find that they're already used uh, someone's already got that username so you might have to try several times the other option is to use your current email address instead if you've already got one and you don't want a gmail.com address so you just left click on there and you'd input your email address here and then you create in a password down there um, and this example we'll do it we're creating our own username we'll try that um, and then password so this is where you create one And then click on here to confirm. If you want to double check to make sure that you've got the correct password in twice, um, you can click left click on here, show password, and it would show them. If you're on a public computer, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, but if you're at home, that's fine to do just to double check it. And then you just left click next, and it'll take you through. Phone number is optional. Uh, but I recommend that because if you do forget your password, they can send you a code um, which you can then put in and reset your password. Um, if you don't do that, it becomes a bit more complicated to access your Google account again. But on here, so we'll just type in mobile number. You can put a recovery email address in again. The mobile phone is more important, uh, but you can also put an email address in as well. Put your date of birth in. I'm just making it one here so don't this is not mine <laughs> and then you've got your gender you can prefer not to say you've got a male, male and then next and then I'll send the code just to verify that it is your number so there is verification verification code so we just wait for that to come through that's the sound of it coming through so we just click on that um, The G's already put in, so you don't need to worry about that. You just literally type in the numbers. That's that. You don't need to make a note of this. It's just a one-time code that you use for this instance. Hit verify. Once that's done, so it leads you through these options there. Just click yes, I am in. Or you can skip those if you'd rather not. You can choose your personalization settings. If you're not too bothered, you can always go back and edit these later. And you can go through and read those if you want to do that. And if you're happy, just left click on confirm. It'll send your privacy and terms. You can read through there just to check that you agree with all of those things. If you're happy, you just left click on I agree. And there you go, and that's it. You'll see that your initials appeared in the top right corner and you're in, you can access your Gmail, emails by left clicking on there. 